Hello there. Today I'm going to take you through uh, one of the right triangle trigonometry applications for angle of elevation. Uh, this, in my opinion, is one of the more challenging problems um, because you're not just given a standard right triangle to work with. Uh, the problem reads, in traveling across flat land, you notice a mountain directly in front of you. Its angle of elevation to the peak is 3.5 degrees. After driving 13 miles closer to the mountain, the angle of elevation is now 9 degrees approximate the height of the mountain. Uh, the picture is given in the textbook. Um, what I'm going to add to this picture is a few distances that are not marked, that aren't labeled. Um, from this point, 13 miles from the start to the mountain, I'm going to call that the distance x. Uh, and I will label the height of the mountain, uh, what we're trying to find, the variable h. Uh, notice in this problem that we have two right triangles. Uh, one right triangle is the small one here, composed of the 9 degrees, the h, and the x. So if we're thinking of our trig functions, uh, h is the opposite leg, x is the adjacent leg. Uh, the trig function that we're going to use is tangent. Uh, tangent relates the opposite and the adjacent. We also have a much larger right triangle, uh, in reference to the three and a half degree elevation. So, uh, the opposite leg of the large right triangle is still h, and the adjacent leg of this right triangle is 13 plus x. Uh, to solve this question, uh, we're going to write two trig functions uh, and then use a system of equations. So, the first equation that I'm going to write is in relation to this small triangle here. We know that the tangent of 9 degrees is equal to the opposite leg divided by the adjacent leg, h over x. In the much larger triangle, the 3.5 degree triangle, um, we're going to write that the tangent of 3.5 degrees equals h divide it by 13 plus x. Uh, initially, one might think we don't have enough information to solve this equation. Um, we can't use right triangle trigonometry on this triangle here uh, because we're not, it's not a right triangle. Um, we don't know h, we don't know x. But if we write this as a system of equations, what we're able to do is solve the top equation for one of these two variables and replace the second equation's variable with that answer. Uh, for me, uh, I think it's easiest to manipulate the first equation, so I'm going to solve the top equation for x. Um, to solve it for x, uh, we're merely going to switch the denominator and the trig function on the left side. So we'll know that x is equal to h divide it by the tangent of 9. This was a shortcut that we talked about in class. Um, to solve it the long way, we would multiply both sides by x and then divide by tangent of 9. After a few of these, we noticed that this shortcut worked. Um, once I have x isolated, once we know that x is equal to h over tangent of 9, we are able to replace, substitute this x in the second equation with this h over tangent 9. So we know that tangent of 3.5 degrees, using substitution, is equal to h divided by 13 plus h over tangent of 9. Now recall that tangent of 3.5, tangent of 9, these are just numbers, they're decimals. Uh, tangent of 3.5 is about 0 0.06, uh, tangent of 9 is about 0.16. Uh, I'm going to leave them in exact form because if we convert them to decimals now, we'll have a, a pretty large rounding error uh, and our final answer could be off by um, you know, more than 5% or so. To solve this, uh, I've done it a few ways. The algebra here, you can take many different directions. Some of my students thought about getting common denominators with the tangent of 9. Some of them converted it to decimals. For me, the easiest way to solve this was write tangent of 3.5 over 1 and then use cross multiplication on this diagonal. 1 times h gives you h. 
And then on the other diagonal, you'll have tangent of 3.5 times 13 plus h over tangent of 9. I'm going to use the distributive property here and distribute this tangent 3.5 to both the 13 and the h over tangent 9. So when we do that, we'll have tangent of 3.5 times 13 plus tangent 3.5 h over tangent of 9. I would like to wait as long as possible uh, before typing these in my calculator. Anytime we type any of these in the calculator and give a decimal approximation, we're dealing with rounding errors. At this time, um, for purposes of this, it may be beneficial to compute tangent of 3.5 over tangent of 9. And I'm going to round to four decimal places. So I'm going to say that this expression here is equal to about 0.3. 862h. So we have 1h equals 13 times tangent 3.5 plus 0.3862h. Uh, from this point, it's a two step uh, linear equation to solve. Subtract 0.3862 from both sides. When you do that, you get 0.6138h equals 13 times tangent of 3.5. To solve for h, divide both sides by 0.6138. And the height of the mountain is approximately equal to 1.295 miles.